I need you to retrieve an item from the OTKE Corporation headquarters in the Glee star system and kill a human named Ryan Hunt. Your payment will be substantial, but failure will not be tolerated. Hmm, we do like high-paying jobs, but I'm afraid we do not take kindly to threats. It's with much regret I must decline this business proposition. The black circle was silent for a second. Then, without warning, a black tentacle reached out and sliced the head off the mime holding the box. The head thudded onto the floor, followed by the body and the box, which continued to emanate the black circular cloud. Let me be a little clearer. You don't have a choice. Frederick pursed his lips as he gazed at the dead mime. There is a joke in this somewhere about a waste of a mime, he said with a laugh, and the tension in the room subsided. Well, then, it appears we accept the job. You are a wise leader. A data crystal located in the box will provide additional information. Please dispose of the messenger as you see fit. I will be in touch at the completion of the job. Everything went silent, and the black circular cloud vanished. The ragged humanoid looked at the dead body and box in horror, then looked up at Frederick. Wait, please, I beg of you, don't kill me. He fell to his knees, begging. What to do, what to do, said Frederick, rocking his head back and forth. He then smiled, leaned over, and picked up the jester puppet. Frederick carefully slipped his right hand into a cloth section in its back, while seating the puppet on the right arm of his chair so that its legs dangled down. So, Mr. Jingles, what do you think we should do with this messenger? Frederick leaned in, put his ear to the puppet's mouth, and nodded as if listening to the puppet talk. My life is in the hands of that? It's a doll. You people are insane, said the ragged man. No, it's a puppet. A doll is much different. Please do not interrupt Frederick when he is in audience with Mr. Jingles, said the lead guard near the throne. The ragged man looked at him with utter confusion. Mr. Jingles, that's it. Really? That's it? said Frederick aloud. Frederick moved his hand to make the puppet nod. You realize I would only have one more of those left, and the one on the other side makes a bigger impact. Frederick moved Mr. Jingles closer to his ear and nodded. Yeah, you make sense. I am holding you with my right arm. One last time, are you sure? Frederick moved his hand to make the puppet nod again. Well, if you say so. Frederick pointed his left arm toward the ragged man and a small missile shot from a hidden launcher. It hit the ragged man with blinding speed, and before the man could scream out, an electrical burst fried his internal organs. Kind of undramatic, if you ask me. The one on the other arm is much better, said Frederick, as the ragged man's body slumped to the floor. Oh, well. Frederick put the puppet back on his stand and looked at the members of his guild. Everyone, listen up. We have a job to do. Let's reach out to our comrades already embedded in various worlds. Get me all the data on the OTKE Corporation, and I want to know who this Ryan Hunt fellow is. I would like to get to know my prey before I kill him.